All righty then. Let's get into it. Sure. So we are finally back on the Mana Symbol channel to run a Mana Symbol channel classic. It is Teamer Canonical Song 1.7. This is the Teamer Kinnon Urza Rosa deck. Um, this is my most recent iteration, and I do have some ulterior motives to why we are playing it, which I'm sure will become relevant later. So uh, I've made a small number of tweaks to this deck list. It definitely took a hit with the Astrolabe ban, but let's do a little quick talkaroo about what we're doing here. So we're playing Kinnon Bonder Prodigy, which you don't see a lot of in modern. And the reason we're playing this card is that this gives us an explosive, powerful mana engine. Um, Kinnon is green and a blue for a 2-2 creature, and the most relevant part of his text says, whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, and one mana of any type that that permanent produced. This allows Mox Amber, Springleaf Drum, and Birds of Paradise, Gilded Goose, um, all of those to tap for two mana rather than their regular one. And um, this allows us to burst into the mid game, turn three and four, um, by popping out powerful things like Urza, Song of Creation, Karn the Great Creator, Uro, and uh, we also get to take advantage of a tutor package involving Trinket Mage. And uh, Trinket Mage can get our one of Walking Ballista or Engineered Explosives or uh, Aether Spellbomb, Paving Needle, Shadow Spear, and Soul Guide Lantern. Um, Karn the Great Creator is here as well, and he can get a number of powerful artifacts from our sideboard. Um, some of them are similar, some of them are different. So we are a very, very powerful mid-range deck. Um, anything like Grohl mid-range, uh, if they don't just have a nutty draw that free wins us, we should be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them very easily. Things like Death Shadow, we can definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them on the board. This is just a very, very powerful play-to-the-board deck, which just sort of overwhelms our opponent. Uh, it's very stylistically similar to something like Niv-Mizzet. So we're going to hop into our Lee here and see if we can't uh, see how good this deck is in the current modern metagame. Uh, I've run different versions of it. I know Jiggy Wiggy had success. He ran a 5-0 with a Bant Cannon deck um, last week. So that's going to be really exciting um, going into the future with that. And I just wanted to run a version of the classic Teamer version. How you doing there, Roy? Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. I don't need this. Doing all right. Good to hear, buddy. I'm doing very well. Channel has been going strong, even though I haven't been putting up uh, videos. Ooh, we're against House of Mana. I know that name, even though I don't know who this person is. Uh, we're gonna have to toss this hand. Drink menu coming along. Uh, yeah, kind of. Um, it's definitely not something I had a lot of experience doing. What's up, Pygonti? Um, so it's a lot of work, and um, what do I wanna ditch here? Feel like it's Shadow Spear because that's the worst card in the dark. Yeah, let's do that. Definitely gonna get a Breeding Pool as my first land drop. Actually, we could play Bobble, um, send this off in our opponent's direction, see what's going on over there. Slayer's Stronghold. Okay, so it's gonna be Titan. Gotten getting tightened in our first round. We can we can definitely beat Titan. Um, means our Gilded Goose is very likely to live here. Switched almost totally to Pioneer. Not sure about what I want to do with Modern. I definitely know that feeling, my friend. Um, not that I currently have it. Okay, we're against Vile Titan. Okay, so Karn. If we can get to a Karn, that will be the sickness here. I'm going to play Springleaf Drum into Emery. Seems good. Emery has the potential to flip something that draws us cards. 
got an Uro in our hand, and there's a Mishra's Bobble, so even though we've actually whiffed on our land drop, we're still doing okay in terms of mana here. Um, your webcam is lagging a little bit for me. I think it's lagging for everyone. Um, I am dropping frames, and I'm not 100% sure why. Let me see what processes I can close down to see if I can get this running better. I do have my soundboard going. It does. It does make me feel good. All right. Um, still missing land drops. Now there's a Thalia? Well, that's just rude. Um, access to up to three mana here I think I just want to play my bauble and a gilded goose yeah It'd be a tad unfortunate if this bauble is going to draw me a land but there's nothing I can do about it yeah I, I'm dropping frames I'm not 100% sure why I'm just trying to clear it up uh, as long as the audio is doing okay, I think we'll be fine. Opponent's deck has on top a Anne. You have a Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. Oh, not not that color. Green. Goose. All right. So I got two draws to hit a land here, or I guess a Renin Six would be fine. Renin Six would be really good against Thalia. Okay. Some loser named Dark Magic Light is trade spamming Spying Sparks. Uh, sure. Uh, I assume there's no chance that anyone. Uh, who's actually willing to put an effort or something on, on something like that is going to uh, be around for for me. I just don't think I'm popular enough. But yeah, I, I, I did hear about that. Okay, we picked up the Prismatoquista. Okay. Uh, I'm not too worried about what my opponent's going to be able to do yet, but this can get a Valakut going. So if we can shut that down in any way, we would like to. Um, trade spam. So what they do is they just keep sending trades to the streamer's opponent. And that stops the streamer's opponents from being able to take game actions of any kind. Because they just keep getting prompted to trade. All right. We're looking at our zero mana artifacts. We've got uh, Blista, EE, Spellbomb, Pithing Needle, Shadow Spear, Soul Guide Lantern. Okay, so I could... I could Trinket Mage and get Pithing Needle. Can I cast the Pithing Needle this turn? I don't think that I can. So that's not the best. Oh, I could do, right? One, two, three, four, five. Don't know if it's worth doing. It's probably pretty important. Um, or I could just play Uro and hope that things don't go horribly awry for me. Um, question is just how afraid of this card am I right now? Am I as afraid as that? Probably should be reasonably afraid of it. So let's, okay. let's go get a red source. Um, it's obviously not the best. It's not my favorite thing to get here. Um, Actually, I don't need to. I've got two goose and a spring leaf drum, so we'll just get something that helps me with an Uro. Um, play the trinket mage. Gonna... I don't want to use spring leaf for this, so we'll use food. Play trinket mage. Get Pithing Needle, play Pithing Needle for two, Name Reclaimer. Just think that letting them get to Valakut here would be a bad idea, so we did have to sacrifice both our foods for it, which really sucks, but we have a Springleaf Drum, which basically is 
being useful in the way that it's allowing our gilded one of our gilded geese to um, be a mana creature even without having to sack uh, a food. Hopefully I pick up a Kinnon sometime soon, but that is the disadvantage of an 80 card deck. One of the things I did not mention in the uh, blurb, the deck tech, is that we are playing an 80 card Urian deck, which um, has some limitations. I guess there's downsides. But if less is more, just imagine how much more is. But um, Pi, to um, answer your previous um, commentary about switching over entirely to Pioneer versus doing Modern, um, I will say that things like Pioneer uh, are very fun and cute the first time you experience them. And I'm not saying it's not a good format. It's absolutely a great format. But I believe that you will find a point where you go, huh, I want to do a thing and Pioneer doesn't let me do that thing and Modern will likely be the format that allows you to do that thing. Um, whatever that thing may be. So, FYI. Um, you will be drawn back to Modern for some reason or another at some point. Or maybe you won't. And if not, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes, sometimes we move on past the things that... Uh, you know, we thought we would never, uh, never be disinterested in. My Streamlabs keeps telling me we're dropping frames. I don't see any reason why it would be, so I just don't know what's going on with it, but hopefully it's not too bad. I like playing modern. I just don't feel any deck is powerful enough to beat others. Yeah, I mean, that's generally where I felt like with modern is just let like I just don't I just I'm just annoyed by prowess and I don't love any of the Uro piles enough. Um, they're all fine, but when I play them, it's just like not as much fun. Oh yeah, uh, is it uh, Pioneer? Big Pioneer tournament. I assume House of Mana is also a streamer or something like that. House of Mana MTG just sounds like a sounds like a streamer thing. Modern. Sold on Winota in Pioneer. Fine with that. That's good. I know. I know you've been on a tear with that deck. It's not my speed, but I totally get it. My opponent is working through the lines here. He's streaming with 48 viewers. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. So anyone who's hanging out here, if you do want to check out um, the other side of this match, you can do so by checking out uh, House of Mana. If I had to guess, I would say House of Mana is likely looking up my MTG Goldfish history at this moment, or he's consulting with the reams of Twitch chat over what super complicated line he can do here. Okay. So main phase, Knight of the Reliquary, for whatever reason. Oh, I see, I see, I see. It's going on the beatdown plan. I get that. So four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm taking eight here. Well, nothing I can do about it, so we'll take the eight. Let's hope we don't magically die. We're getting we're getting mavericked. Oh, and Knight of the Reliquary can sacrifice, yeah, a Forester Plains. They sacrifice Flagstones, of course and uh, they get to put any land card into play. Now if they do put Valakut into play, um, and then they play another land, they could have a good time with this. They do not. Interesting. Oh, that was, no, that was the planes. Okay, they need one more land for Valakut to trigger, um, and they still have a land drop from their hand, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they do. So I'm wondering if they have that. Our sideboard is not going to be the best in this matchup. Um, Aethergust is fine, but it's not great. That is the reason, or part of the reason the Vile Titan deck exists as it does is it's like a green-white taxes uh, deck that is like a much, much bigger taxes deck. Or um, someone related it to Maverick in Legacy being like a green-white um, 
taxes, mana denial, lands, you know, utility, mid-range deck. That's a whole bunch of magic jargon that hopefully means anything to anyone. We have a boat, though. Can't go wrong with that. I got one thing to say about that. Blast Zone. Okay. Can't activate it. Third Gilded Goose. Well, that's... <laughs> That's a whole bucket of fun now, isn't it? All right, so what are we doing here? Play the groove. Probably playing the A side of Uro and praying we draw a cannon or something like that. It's not, it's not where I want to be, but pretty sure that's where I am. Trigger. Flu. All right, go to nine. Galvanic Blast, eh? Well, that would be great if I had a single way to cast. I'm going to have a way to cast it. Okay. So let's play the Gilded Goose. And then I can pick off other creatures. But uh, yeah, if I kill Knight of the Reliquary, um, I don't have enough mana. It doesn't cost one. It costs two. Bad Shock, Thalia. Yeah, we can't cast it. Yeah, the Thalia is just wrecking us all game now. Um, I mean, they had a really great draw. Like, they had the, the Reclaimer into the Knight, but uh, looks like we're pretty toast here. Let's see if they actually have any kind of lethal. If they don't, we're getting our Uro back next turn, which is not bad. So, we'll see what they get up to here. Upkeep Vile. So they've got another three drop, but they do want to go to four. Courser, sure. Where's the prime time on top? Sure. They don't put their Aether Vile up, so they've got another three drop. Is this... Okay, this doesn't count as a revealed card, so I don't know what they call us. Okay, I'm pretty sure we just die to Valkit here, but let's see. Let's see what they choose. Yep, so there's Valkit. Ramming up Excavator on top. That's a yikes. Okay, where's your Valkit trigger going? Pretty sure I'm dead. They're going Dome? What? A little confused, but okay. Oh, right. Yeah, they're just gonna get like a fetch land or something like that. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. They just bolt us out of the game. Fun. That was fun. Thank you, opponent. Huh. My magic online is running smoother than usual. That Maybe that's why my, uh... Yeah, that's why my streaming thing is uh, not working as well. All right, let's get the glass. Let's get some Aether Gust. Ren and Six is really not the best here as usual. One of the big downsides that happened with this deck is that um, once upon a time, Ren and Six was like really, 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 really reasonable in the metagame. It's nowhere near as good as it used to be. I'm even down to three Urzas in this deck because, again, it's just not as good as it used to be. Uh, I don't want to cut any more artifacts. This deck is kind of functioning on the bare minimum of artifacts that you need. Um, I could, like, I cut one Aether spell bomb for the interaction here. Cannon still would have been excellent at any point during that early game, so I don't really want to do anything with that. Um... Maybe we're just going down an Emery since casting spells out of my graveyard against the Thalia is less than great. Maybe we should go down a Karn, maybe Song of Creation. I don't know. Yeah. If I'm actually able to switch away, I'll probably just go down a Karn because he's he's more expensive and the spell he gets is more expensive. So I usually don't like to board out Karns in basically any matchup, but it's a wild new world. Let's try new things. Don't be afraid to try new things, people. Let's get loud.
All right, let's go. Why'd you call the Galvanic Blast bad shock? Isn't Galvanic Blast just better shock? Isn't every shock better shock that is shock but not shock? Shock is like the worst possible shock, right? I'm not wrong. It wouldn't have done four because you need to sacrifice a treasure to cast it and only have two artifacts, hence shock. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with calling it shock. It's not bad shock. It's better shock. Because it has potential. Shock doesn't have any potential. It's like Wild Slash. Wild Slash is just, it's just a better shock. It's bad bolt. It's definitely bad bolt, but it has the potential to be better bolt. Bolt potential. The bolt index of the card is is high. Let me turn to Thalia again. No problem. Yep. Never don't have it. And Thalia is white, not not green. Um, so am I playing Emery here or Uro? Uh, Uro because then I end up with more mana for the next part. Are you actually looking for bad shot? No, I'm not like Pygonti called my Pygonti referred to my God darn it. hold on. He referred to Galvanic Blast as bad shock when Galvanic Blast is strictly better shock. So you get to play one for Mox Amber. And Mox Amber now produces two for me to play Emery, who is produced by one for by Mox Amber. So we actually got to do everything there. And we are super well set up for next turn. Galv is awesome bolt when you have Metalcraft. True. But it's also not bad shock ever. It's shock. Underwhelming when you don't have that. I mean, I agree, but shock is good enough most of the time. Like, if I could have killed their Thalia, that would have been great. It's not bad shock. Shock is always going to be worse. I was going to recommend the following piece of vertigo. What about what about CJ's favorite card? Mugging. Is it mugging or mug? I once watched a friend with an affinity matchup and had three gal blasts in hand. OP didn't block Goober at 13 life. That's fantastic. Oh my god. What is this crap? What is, what is this crap? Oh my god, no! You nerd. Wow, I don't even know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with this. You are, you're just a tool opponent. You're a tool. Okay, uh, do I wanna leave Shadow Spear or do I wanna leave, whatever. If you play shock, you don't know what the card. Play shock, you don't know what the card can do as best. I guess. I mean, that's. I think that's pretty speculative reasoning. God, this is just such an ass. Good. Ah. Gal blast still in the deck. I have four galvanic blasts in my deck right now. I went up post board, not down. Up. I think it's a very good card in this matchup. Not playing spear. I can't play the spear. I also couldn't play the Mox Amber. Yeah. It's not the Thalia that's stopping me. I could have played the spear. So Eidolon and Rhetoric usually storm hate, but not this time. Keck W. I don't know what that means, but I know it's an emote. Which I'm sure many streamers would refer to as a meme. K 
Keck W, that's a meme. It is not a meme. Words have meanings, damn it. Which change over time still, but. <laughs> All right, Pi. You can say that as much as you like. You're good people. Ah, oh, you know, in a way I miss this, but in another more significant way, my opponent taking forever is not something I missed. Elish Reclaimer, and you got it. Can't do anything about that. So they don't have a triad in their hand, or if they do, they don't want to play it for some reason. Can't imagine what that would be. Uh, do I want to just play Shadow Spear here and equip it to Uro and just smash? So that costs two and another two. So I have Aether Gust available. Do you want to talk with a philosopher about words? I honestly would love to. I do. I I would like to know where where you fall philosophically on the discourse that I just introduced. I would like to know, you know, the history of that discourse, if there is one worth knowing, etc., etc., etc. This is something I, I took almost entirely philosophy electives in university. I love philosophy. Big fan. They, they blocked my Uro with Thalia. I am in Tregwade. You know he has trampled now, right? Is there I Okay. Ah, okay, okay. They wanted to play the Elodomri's call. So they're gonna get Golos? Or they're gonna get Dryad. Probably Dryad. Cause they already have Valakut in play. But then the fact that I have Udo means um Gust it. Uh I can't. I am literally not allowed to play spells, my friend. But thanks for playing. You can gust the Dryad in response to Reclaimer trigger. Agreed. Or in response to the Valakut trigger. Oh, yeah. Actually, that... Yeah, that's even better because then it gets shuffled in um, by, the, by the... Yeah, yeah. That's probably what we're going to do. Because I think what they're going to do... Yeah, so they get the Dryad. They can drop it into play now. But then when they use their Reclaimer to sack a land to get, I assume, a tapped fetch land, they didn't put the Dryad in. What? I, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm okay with it. Let me, let me hit you with one of my favorites, because... That's so ratchet. I love that. Taps the Aether Vial, doesn't put in the Dryad. Like, opponent's got the Chutzpah, which is very difficult to spell. Almost as difficult to spell as Oaxaca. Oh, wait, there is a Dryad. What am I talking about? Why did I not think there was a... Oh! Yeah, no, I'm an idiot. No, I'm good. I'm good. I see it now. I don't know. They, they had the Thalia, and they had the Elvish Reclaimer, and my brain just went funny. Don't don't worry about me. Then I got on a tangent about words that are hard to spell because they're not English words, but they use English characters. And uh, so many assholes on board. Whoa! Come on now. They're wonderful, wonderful humans. Wow, this is a spirit. Spirit with no job. Get a job, you hippie. All words are hard to spell if you're literate enough. I agree with that, and I'm a human who can't spell the word ridiculous. They're really under a lot of pressure here. Like, this this is so irrelevant right now. Like, what what do you... I have a 7-7 seven, seven lifelink trample. What are you doing over there? Like, they missed their land drop. Like, good, good lord. Uh, yeah, I guess we're attacking. Wonderful humans, spirit, and elephant dryad. Yep.
Spoosh. Uro smash. Brrr. Brrr. Oh yeah? You're just gonna take it? Okay, bolt you. I don't have one. I wish I had one. Um, we'll do that this way. Nope, hold on. There we go. Uzza. And a sad little construct. He's a 3-3. Do I want to move my Shadow Spear? Yeah, I guess so, because I still have enough mana to um, to activate or to play Aethergust, even if they if they do anything about it. The only way they could stop me is by killing my Urza, I guess, which we'll see. So we're just going to Gust the Dryad now, I guess. Yeah, because they... Oh, I played a spell. I can't Gust now. Well, shoot. But this won't trigger Valakut, so I'm wondering what they're getting here. Flagstones, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I caught up high. They have another three drop? Second drop. Well, fuck. Um, so, how does this work? So, if they sacrifice the flagstones, it triggers, they get a fourth land, then they get the another Valakut or something like that. I think we're just going to be able to kill them around whatever happens here. My question is, am I supposed to gust the Reclaimer upkeep? I think I'm supposed to do that, but I couldn't tell you why. I, I guess it, it just forces them to tap their mana during their upkeep, which is a pretty non-optimal time for them to do so. I'm at 42, so, like, I'm not worried about them. I've got Urza, dude. Thalia makes me so sad. Why? I mean, Thalia's a really good card. I find it super, super frustrating as a spell-heavy control player. And I'm not even playing, like, a spell-heavy deck. Just like in general. Got it. Yeah. She's a badass. So if they reclaim her their flagstones, they can get another Valakut or something like that, but they won't trigger now. Yeah, like that's the thing. It's like Thalia is one of the good white cards, of which there are very few. So I don't mind her. Also, I forgot what Urza does, and I'm trying to save myself. Gotcha. I gotcha. I don't know why I'm dropping so many dang frames. But uh, I will probably just reboot um, before we go up and play Niv after this league. Opponent is making this game take way longer than it needs to. So they do get a second Valakut. So if they have a land here, they get two Valakut triggers. If they have a fetch land here, they get four Valakut triggers. And they have neither and they concede. There are plenty of good white cards you nelly. No, sorry. Thalia is one of the best white cards... Not as good as Uro, who's bust up. No, I mean, the, the point is, Thalia is one of the best white cards, just, like, sort of generally, whereas a lot of white cards are, like, very situationally good. Like, Rest in Peace is one of the best graveyard hate cards in all of Magic. But it doesn't matter if your opponent's just playing, like, Burn. Um, white has a lot of that. White has a lot of, like, proactive hate cards that are just not, not all that impressive. Do I want to do that? Maybe. All right. Well, we got the clock advantage here. Do we want another spell bomb? Uh, this is the only spell bomb in, this, in the uh, 95. And I moved it to the sideboard because I think it's not particularly good in this matchup. Maybe it's better than I think it is. But it's really for things like... Hey, how's it going there, Raytheon? Um, I think Spellbomb is better against things like Death Shadow and maybe Jund. Yeah, Balance, balance is a really good card. Uh, but I think it's just not playable in any realistic format, like unless you're counting Vintage. It's banned in, in EDH, right? Is that Am I making things up? I feel like, I feel like they fun policed out balance for sure there's no way balance is legal <laughs> yeah of course I'm, of course 
that's the kind of card that I think would make EDH like interesting and tense to play. Print Armageddon into modern. Isn't it in modern? No. Balance in a multiplayer format. But that's one of the things, like it's it's a multiplayer format, right? Like the point is fun. So if you're play nah, I'm not gonna go into my EDH rant. I'm not too dignified to go into an EDH rant, and it's a terrible idea for me. So I'm not gonna do it. Um, so if we Vista for green and then fetch Steam Vents, that's what we're gonna do here. Yeah. SFM is a good card. Yes, Stoneforge is one of the one of the few standout great cards um, that White just has generally. I have four of them right here. The real struggle is what editions of Sword of Fire and Ice and Feast and Famine and Batter Skull do I get? Armageddon in blue white Urza, imagine the salt. My opponent has two Aether Vials. If we finally draw a Karn, it is gonna Ooh. Okay. Uh we're gonna do a whole thing here. And then yeah. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. <laughs> Classic this deck always flips zero goddamn artifacts. They've got vile. Okay. That is vile. That's nasty. Thick nasty. You can Trinket Mage for Mox Amber and then Song of Creation and go off next turn, I'm pretty sure. Time to get Eidolon again. I really hope not. I really hope not. I wonder how many they play on the sideboard. It's probably one, because there I think there are four Elodomri's call deck. I know they do play Summoner's Pact, or at least I think that they do. Trinket into Needle. Yeah. Yeah. The question though is, is it actually better to needle the Reclaimer or the Aether Vial? Because I don't Oh, or Engineered Explosives. Doy. We don't have enough mana to pop an EE this turn on one but it still seems really good. Um, so if I Trinket Mage for Mox, I have four mana remaining, which means I could play the song. And then I'd have to discard... No, and then I could play my other Misty Rainforest and then play the second Emery, and then I'm empty-handed and my turn is over. But I have a song in play. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that, that puts us in the best position to win this game. So let's go get blue. Go blue, green, tap, kin in for red. Yeah. Play Trinket Mage with one, two. I need... So I'm going to be tapping the... Yeah, got it, got it. Yeah. Well, the the real danger is if they have an Eidolon for next turn. They didn't play one this turn, so... Here's hoping. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, I guess we could even go off this turn in theory, huh? That'd be crazy. Um, let's get Breeding Pool just in case we need it next turn. I expect the blowout. Me too, buddy. Okay, yield. Triggers. Okay, that's fine. Keep that one. Trigger. Mill A Artifact. Jeez. Oof. Well, we can uh, get Urian next turn. Hmm? What about next turn? Uh, 
Are you assuming I'm not going to have an next turn? What is what is what is happening? Okay, so they're going to reclaim her for flagstones here, I guess. Okay. Does it matter which ones you're sacking? Like, I don't. What is, what is happening over there? Are they getting dark depths? I'd hope you'd won this turn. Me too, but it wasn't possible. I mean, technically it was possible, but it wasn't very likely. They have Bajuka Bog. Okay. That's true. Luckily, we didn't put anything in our graveyard that's useful in any way, so. So if I, if I draw a land, I can get and play Urian. If I don't draw a land, that means I drew a spell and we can start going off, hopefully. I miss milling useful cards. Me too, buddy. Me too. Goes to combat. Goes through combat. If they have little to do this turn, this better not be a nylon. Knight of Autumn. Well, that is so... Flipping rude. Holy crap. Nice draw. Alright, well. <sighs> that's a pain in the ass. So we're one mana short of playing your eye on this turn. I literally have no no creatures. So okay. No, I don't want to do that. But I have to use this. Okay, it's fine. Uh, I'll tap the trinket maybe, sure. Play that, play this, okay. I could literally use Emery to play uh, Mox, or uh, Mishra's Bobble twice here, but I don't have one, so why? Why what? Oh, we did have eight mana. How did I miscount that last turn? I don't know. Man, I'm just all over the place. You know my opponent IRL. Huh. Fun. Could you tell them to uh, kill my Mox Amber next time? That'd be great. Okay. Counting is for nerds. No, I, I mean, I did count, but I... Tell them Alex says hi in game chat. Uh, I might have to be more specific, but we will do. Okay. Now, well, they don't have a dryad yet, so we'll see where they go with this. Okay. They're likely getting a Valkyrie pretty soon, but Sacred Foundry means they can theoretically activate their Slayer Stronghold now, and they get another Flagstones. Oh, that is super cool. Oh, uh, no. So they're going to have Dryad because they never don't have Dryad. Of course they're. Dryad's on top. They're going to draw it, draw it this turn. Well, that's obnoxious. Uh, how's the man that said, hi, Alex? You should be able to see that. But Well, we're in trouble. God damn stupid Valakut. Well, they only get one trigger. Killing my Emery is not that big of a deal. Killing my Cannon is more annoying. Yep. Damn it, Thalia on top. It's actually not that good of a draw. Kill my Cannon, as predicted. Don't think they can do much more this turn. That's particularly scary. They get attacked for like. A small chunk. Yeah. I think I think it's mostly about having been luckier. We did have an earlier turn where we could have pithy needled the reclaimer or the aether vials, and that was potentially very good. Our song kind of well, our song didn't whiff. Like it was an exploration that drew us two cards that that didn't be end up being relevant, and they just had Knight of Autumn. Like, they just immediately had it in their hand. They didn't have to tutor for it. They didn't have to be lucky. They just had a Knight of Autumn in their hand. 
and they brought that in for like miscellaneous artifacts because they hadn't seen a song of creation um actually i think i milled one last game and one assumes they may have done their research and looked up my deck list and tried to figure out what i can do with it um not really sure what they're waffling over here like i assume they just boot up their courser and then crack in for four six with the knight of all they have a knight of the reliquary in their hand that's what they were waffling over well that is a tremendous pain if they play eidolon i guess they knew about song i disagree just based on the fact that i am playing like an urza deck urza Rosa deck and so like i think in the mid game having eidolon against me is just like relatively okay because it just messes with my ability to do the things that I want to do. Um, like, my deck multi-spells a lot of the time, and, and um, Eidolon doesn't really hurt them. Like, Eidolon might be a main deck card for them. I don't know. Um, but it could be. Okay, I think I just have to play the Grove, sack the Grove. Hope I go somewhere with this. Because just playing Orion here is... Not the best. I could have pinged down the Knight of Autumn. I don't really think it matters. They have zero lands in hand, but the Reclaimer is going to get a Bolt or better. Uh, it's going to be better because it's going to get the... Yeah. Um, so I can play Orion. I can also play the Shadow Spear. Or I can keep one mana open in case I draw an Aether Gust. Am I drawing any cards? I'm not, am I? Um, I am going to get to Trinket Mage. It doesn't really matter. So we get Urian, Flicker, 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 and I'm fairly certain any or all of this is going to be too late to matter in any relevant way, but let's, let's hang on. Let's hold on to hope. We dead. Uh, probably. But let's see how dead we are. Get Chris. Emery Mills. Oh. Major's Bobble and Pithing Needle. Yay! Just in time to Pithing Needle. Yay. Oh, they can also Ghost Quarter themselves for Valakit Trigger. So what they should do is Reclaimer for another Valakit. And then... Ghost quarter themselves for a double trigger, so it's like nine damage so far. And then they have Knight of the Reliquary, so it's like fifteen. Okay, yeah, they got us. Pretty close one. I, I'm I'm just not willing to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. I don't know if they have any more flagstones left, um, but it's possible they they don't. I, I don't think that deck plays four. I think they play them to to rotate into. So that was a bit of a shame, but that deck is good. Uh, and our draw was like, it was fine. Not, not the most exciting, not the worst. Okay, return to dust. Their butts are so big, we can't even blister multiple people. Yeah, a lot of their creatures had high toughness. I probably should have gotten Engineer Explosives. I just wasn't doing it very clearly. Well, um, really definitely need to be more lucky tonight than this. Because this has been really, really poor. All right. Uh, I think I'm just double bottoming Galvanic Blast, but I can't do that. So let's bottom Blast and uh, Emery here, I guess. <sighs> okay. Well, we're playing a Jiggy deck, and we are definitely uh, not not rolling high enough. Not being lucky enough with the draws. We need to uh, need to pick up a. Oh no! Oh, uh, uh, 
Uh, I didn't play Magic for a week. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Okay. Well, maybe it'll be one of those decks where the people who play it complain constantly about Uro because it's the one card that just beats them on its own and they don't even try. What in the hell? Jeez. All right. Having some technical difficulties tonight, I guess. Alrighty, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's get back into this. I feel like MTGO is running smoother than usual, but I don't, I just don't know why I'm having problems like that. And with the dropped frames, I don't know. There we go. MTGO in all its glory. On the plus side, if my opponent's on one of those, like, black-green rock decks that's been popular recently, I think we might have a pretty good shot here. So. Moodavolt. Oh, no! Eight rack? Oh. Well, I have the one card that beats them. Let's pray that I can get to it. This is a very good card against them as well. Thank you, deck. Question is, do I just want to hold the lands? I think that I do. Um, slowing down at the speed at which that I'm... Well, this might be a bad choice. We'll see. I, I don't know if they're playing anything that's just like raw discard. And by raw discard, I mean like target player discards, two cards, or Raven's Crime. They're probably playing Raven's Crime. They usually do. Uh, okay, Mutavault cracking in. It's going to poke at my Ren and Six, I guess. Push. That's fine. We almost have enough mana and cards in our graveyard that we're going to be able to cast our Uro, and this is going to take them forever to kill the Ren and Six. So maybe I should have just dropped my land last turn, but I think I think the way this is going to work out is going to work out. We'll see. That could be amazing. We'll see. Got to start drawing some zero drops. Reading pool. Pick up land. There's an interesting tension with actually picking up the land there. Um, just because it's reducing the number of cards in my graveyard for Uro. That said, if they kill my Ren 6 and then I put Scalding Tarn in the graveyard, then... Okay, they don't have a second black. So they probably have a Liliana of the Veil vale in their hand that they can't get into play right now. Which is great for me. Yeah, game's, game's going pretty good. Uh, do I want to crack this food? I'm probably going to have excess mana as we go, and if I pick up an Emery, I'm pretty happy to have the artifact in play. Take the zero. Sweet. Engineer Explosives. That's, that's an alright card to have. We're going to try to remember to choose to be on the draw next game. We're going to try to remember to be on the draw next game. I guess I song here. Um... It's kind of awkward against the rack, but then we'll definitely be able to Uro next turn. So I don't really see a downside to it. Um, like, obviously, we're going to have to take three on our next upkeep, but then we get to cast Uro, so who cares, I guess? Um, hindsight, I should have played the island to play the song, but that's fine. So, let's pick up the land. Oh, I can use the fetch land afterwards. Okay. Uh, red, green, and blue here. Cool. Do this thing. Play this land. Play EE for one. Trigger. 
Okay, we might be going off. We're kind of going off. Wait, we're done. Oh, no, I can play the bird. Oh, oh, I hit another Mox Hammer. Um, I'm not going to be able to cast the cannon, though. So I think we just stop here. Oh, also we have Mishra's Baubles. Um, but the way the stack is going to work, um, I need to use these Baubles on my turn after Song Resolves. Um, because if I try to draw the cards during my upkeep, the rack is going to trigger after them. Um, top card of their deck is the rack. Okay, good stuff. I saw it twice. Good to know. Oh, finally drew an Emery. And a Trinket Mage. Trinket Mage is good. I think I might have won. Not sure. Not sure. But it's possible. It's probable that we just won the game. Not sure. Interesting, if true. Dismember. And they're going to attack my Renin 6? Oh no! Guys. Guys, it's all over. They got my Renin 6. I'm going to take a 1. You guys believe this? Alright, so... Um, I guess we play Trinket Mage, get Mox, play Emery, and then win the game? Something like that? <laughs> oh, 8 rack. You don't even know. This is actually going to get worse after boarding. It's gonna get worse. Yeah, we also drew the Kinnon, so we're, we're gonna go off there. Can I, can I go to sideboarding, please? Am I, am I not allowed to sideboard? What? <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> Wait, did they did they concede the match? They did do. They they did concede the match. Alrighty. Um so look look looking for looking for a match, yo. We're we're looking we're going in the queue. Going in the queue looking for a match. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was on a mold to five against eight rack. We're having a good time. Hope everyone in chat's having a good time. I'm so glad that I have a wonderful little chat. Yeah. Zero lander again. That's better. All right, uh, I think we're just ditching this mox amber. Um, yeah, everything else seems fine here. We are wonderful. You're pretty great. I, I, I'm not, I don't want to let you get ahead of yourself, but uh, yeah, you're, you're all right, I guess. But you okay, too. Thanks, buddy. Do I want an Urza with this hand? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, all right, all right. I'll stick an Urza on top. That's fine. You'll until next time stuff. All right. So what is Seb Stryka going to be on? More black discard? Oh, friendo. This is going to be... Not a uh, Nather Vial? Okay. I'm into it. I guess I get to hold my pitting yield for now. Good to know. Okay, so we're gonna go Breeding Pool and Steam Vents. Canister 5 0 with this. 5 0 with what? Slivers? I mean, Canister could probably 5 0 with a wet paper bag, so like. I'm not surprised, but Emery plus Engineered Explosives should do well. Cavern, sure. <sighs> yeah, that's fine. Um, 
Ever spots, bitch. Okay. So this is the exact kind of mid-range deck that I believe, I believe we should brutally outclass. Um, that said, I'm, I might just be pithing needling their sliver hive. They're, they're nowhere close to activating it though. I don't, I don't need to do it this turn. Um, I don't need to just like run my pithing needle in here. So, um, uh, it does mean that next turn, if I play Urza, I can then play Trinket Mage and then get Engineer Explosives or Walking Ballista. So I think I'm going to Pithy Needle their Sliver Hive here and just assume that I'm not going to regret it. Um, I know that they play some kind of Slivers with activated abilities, or at least I assume that they do. There's like a Vindicate Sliver and there's like a an aura shards sliver i might have to go to southern plague lands do they play necrotic sliver i ass i assume they play something interesting so far they haven't but they must play something interesting somewhere along the way unearth sliver yeah unearth sliver is the scary one okay yeah they could um but walking ballista or engineered explosives are going to do do good work there anyway so Sacrifice my Prisma Poista and then put this play Urza trigger. Trinket Mage. Get engineer explosives. Walking Ballista is not... Yeah, I, it's it's fine. I don't care about Walking Ballista anyway. Engineer Explosives is much superior on this board. I'm just going to play it and crack it for two and then play Ren and Six. So, duly noted, my friend. Duly noted. What is this? Teamer Mana. Frenetic Sliver. There it is. I knew there'd be something. So, all Slivers have zero. If this permanent is on the battlefield, flip a coin. If you win the flip... Exile this permanent and return to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. If you lose the flip, sacrifice it, which is the same text as uh, Frenetic Ifrit. Or is it just going to chump block their Mariner? We'll take four. Uh, yeah, I mean, Unsettled Mariner has the jackass version of the... It's different. Thanks. Thanks, Alex. I'm sure it's subtly different in a way that basically doesn't matter, but you're... Technically correct, which I'm sure is the best. Yeah, sure. Yeah, there you go. Uh, how are they different? You can activate this one infinitely. There's literally nothing on it that says you can't. So, I don't, I don't agree. Yeah, I, I don't, I just don't think you're right. I, I don't think you're right. I, maybe there's something that's different, but it's not that card. Okay, so let's EE -E and kill the Sinew Sliver and the Mariner. do 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 Anyone who likes Iron Maiden should be aware of the, the reference. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill their one one. Or I'm gonna try to. Okay. Did they win the coin flip? <gasps> nope. They did not. So instead of dying, it just dies. Wait. That's the same thing. Uh, I don't need to attack. I don't want to attack. Um, I get more value from my construct sticking around for next turn to be flickered. Oh, you, because you want the coins to be flipped. Okay, but that's not what you said. Because you described the Battle Bond flip legends, and I have no idea what those are. Because those are not real magic cards. Another Mariner, sure. Okay, so we're, I think we're just going to be able to crush them here. 
They did get to bump me for two. Uh, but I have an Uro to play, so I'm going to be all right. Oh, Ren6 died. That's okay. Doesn't matter. Oh, well then. So they have the Unsettled Mariner, um, but I should be able to boat them. Or I could Karn, get Bridge, and play Song next turn. So these are all options that basically close out the game. Um, so Karn is one, two, three, four, and then I only have three mana left over. That's not particularly impressive. Song is four, and again, I will not have enough mana left over to do anything particularly relevant. So I think we just get Karn and get Bridge, and they can only attack for one. Yeah, I think that's where I'm at. Karen. Let's go get the bridge. I love this deck. This deck is so freaking neat. Yes, I, I understand, Alex. I, I get it. I do get it. But you, you just didn't explain the fact that you want the coins to be flipped. No, no, that's, that's, they are different. I saw how they were different, but you said it was because it mattered because you could activate it infinitely, and that just wasn't true. What you wanted to say was that it matters because the coin is still flipped. Leeching Sliver. Okay, so we're going to take one here. Like, I understood that there was a difference that's like, okay, you only flip the coin if it's still in play. Like, I get that, but, you know. Um, actually... So, how do I want to win this game? I think we're going to go Song. Wouldn't be surprised to see a Snap Concession here. Um, Goose is mana neutral, although it changes the green into the blue. Still have Urian. There we go. Yield. There's going to be a Goose trigger. Oh, we snap off the Kinnon. Love it. Yield. Okay, so we quote fizzled, but we didn't really because we can wish for Tormod's Crypt or Engineer Explosives or Walking Blista here. Uh, none of them are super exciting. Um, nothing that changes the colors of my mana here. So I have one, two, three, four open. Um, I could just pass the turn and discard both of these. It's not super fun, but... Oh, I have liquid metal coating, right? Let's just get that and start strip mining them, huh? No, I can't do that. I can do that next turn. All right, so we're just going to lose the two cards uh, and just assume that they don't have an out for my song. Um, even if they find it. I'm not too worried. Okay, pass the turn. And the fun thing about the way that Song and Urza and Bridge and all that work out is that this construct can um, get quite large, but our hand could be gigantic too. So, and we have literally zero cards every turn. The The issue with Liquid Metal Coating is that Karn was at two, so if I wished with Karn, um, the thing would have just died. And yes, I understand that if I use Liquid Metal Coating on one of their lands, I have to pay one extra for the coating and one extra for the Karn, because they have an Unsettled Mariner. So do they have trophy? Dark Heart Sliver. Is this Dark Heart of the Woods Sliver? Yep, it sure is. That's that's adorable. Well, let's go off, I guess. Took a couple extra turns, but Bridge, Bridge is a good Magic the Gathering card. Excuse me, opponent. I would like to uh, continue my turn over here. Oh, we're going big, huh? All right. Thank you, deck. Oh, Ballista. Oh, Ballista. And Emery. All right. We're 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 in uh, pretty much infinite territory here, so we should be able to win the game this turn. Uh, we're probably going to get Boat and then attack them with a super gigantic construct. Um, let's get my land plays in. And we'll fetch before we do anything more. Just thin out the deck ever so slightly. Um, our deck is pretty 
pretty thin as it is. It's very um, attractive from a pop culture sense. You know, not that I buy into particular notions of beauty. Isn't the construct too big to attack, though? Uh, you're thinking small, my friend. Sure it is now, but it won't be in a minute. I have a goose I can lay a golden egg. A boat is just a boat, but the mystery box could be anything. It could even be a boat. You know how much we've wanted one of those? So, like, playing moxes here uh, increases the size of my hand without um, increasing the size of the construct and such. Again, like, it, <laughs> you love to pick up on, like, nitty-gritty things that actually are not going to matter in the end of, of, of the event, because, like, while I was mentioning that fact, and yes, you're technically correct in this exact moment, um, and while I could have phrased it more completely, um, I, I believe you will see that that we are going to be totally fine. Like I just I've played this deck enough. I know I know what we're capable of from here. Uh, where are you? Uh, please claim one. All right. You hope I'm right. Oh, Roy of Little Faith. Uh, oh, it it exiles. Oh, it slides. I didn't read you. Okay, doesn't go back to their hand. That's fine. Good enough for walking Ballista to get his work done, I suppose. Um, so this is mana positive. Let's play this. And yes, I'm aware clock is a concern. We're just going to massacre their board in a second here, so it's not really going to matter. Okay. Oh, they just want to F6. That's fair. I would too. I would too, opponent. Oop, that's not what I want to do. But I did it. Too late. Hey, how's it going, Speef? How many cards do I have in my hand? 12. Gee, that's a, that's a nice 12-12 construct I have, Roy. It'd be a shame if it couldn't attack. But it can. Oh, damn it. That's such crap. I, I pressed W, and I pressed the thing afterwards, and it still was like, I'm sorry, I think you want to add mana with this? Is that... Am I reading you correctly? All right, um, spell bomb is mana neutral. Uh, play walking bliss to X3. I guess I should have saved enough mana to equip the shadow spear, but I just drew it, so that's fine. Drum, okay, tap a goose, equip Shadow Spear to my construct. So 15-15, I have 15 cards in hand. Uh, let's go to attack step. They do have to block this because uh, I have a Walking Bliss to X3. Let's see if they know. See if they know. It also really doesn't matter if they don't. Like, I will kill them next turn regardless. This has Trample, friend. This has Trample. And lifelink. Oh, 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 they got their dark heart of the wood sliver. Okay. You are not wrong, opponent. All right, let's try to kill their frenetic if we first. And then even if they're able to uh, make us play to the next turn, it's really not going to matter. Sure. Rent six taxes the mana a ton. I was thinking add a few lands and cut numbers over and over. Oh, and add some number of quaddle. Keep the song. Maybe. Oh, they both they won they won both flips. Good for them. That is really gonna matter. I'm a hundred percent sure. Alright, what do you got? Deputy detention sphere? I'm at twenty six. Cloud shredder. Nice. Nice. Okay. 
So, let's play Uro, I guess. Orion. We're going to use Orion to flicker out our bridge. Let us crew our Sky Sovereign. We'll use uh, Uro, sure, why not? Go to combat, go attack with Construct and Sky Sovereign. Sky Sovereign triggers. Uh, we'll try to shoot down uh, Dark Heart Sliver, I suppose. Um, and uh, let's use Urza, add one. Okay, yes. Come on. Come on, opponent. So they sacked game three, sacked again. Oh, yeah, this is, this is mm, a plus way to win a game, friend. What are you doing? Oh, they're at 14. They're at 17. They're uh, they're really gonna make me work for it, huh? All right. Yep. Oh man, you, you really got me. You really got me. You really got me. Do 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 do. Wing your wing. All right. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Girl, you really got me now. You got me gone, so I don't know why. I don't know lyrics. I don't know lyrics, man. Not, not, not a lyricist. Not, it's not my forte. All right. Um, the most click efficient way to do this. Already playing for time. I know. I know. It's fine. It's it's this is this is magic online. It's fine. The the day after the Astrolabe ban, we were on the road to five zero with this deck, and I got timed out with a lethal ballista on the stack. So I am used to it, and uh, it's you know it's it's part of playing magic online. This deck is still exceptional. Um, I don't know if it's actually like competitive exceptional, but it's still. Very, very good. This is a very good Magic the Gathering deck for a format that is pretty unforgiving and brutal. Um, I don't know if this is the best version of it, but I would like anyone who's watching this to know that it is actually quite good. And um, no matter what our record ends up being, I think we have already shown there's a reasonable amount of power here. I mean, don't get me wrong. We, we, we won out eight rack. Still tinkering with Sultai for modern. Cool, man. Yeah, opponent made us go all the way to the end there. Some spice upcoming for Pioneer. Nice. I I'm happy to uh, entertain any lists you send me, friend. All right. So, uh, Slivers. Just get the extra Galvanic Blast in. I don't really think I want Aether Gust. Just maybe that for like a Mox Amber. Ren 6 is actually quite good here. Probably don't need Pithing... Oh, no, Pithing Needle would have been nuts if I had put it on the right things. And I didn't slide it with my Urian, so I actually punted in that match. So FYI, a cool play you can do that I totally missed out on is Pithing Needle can um, 
be removed from the game with your Ryan, and when it comes back, you get to name a new card. And that is oftentimes a very, very good thing to do in these matches. They introduced you to my new love. This continuity and three fairy. Uh, explain why that's like you're you're paying full retail for the to fairy. Like I guess it, it's a six mana time walk. I'm not really sure I follow you on that being particularly good. Bant wilderness. Re oh, okay. yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay, I can see that. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, so it's a six mana time walk. Are you gonna gear hulk in there too? You time walk him again the next turn? Seb Striker. Well, my opponent was playing for time so hard, but now they can't even choose if they want to play. Play Desk Continuity is a Nexus like card. Yeah, that makes sense. I get that. I get that. It's like one or two of. Just to make sure if the game starts going along that you have a, a big out. Yeah, we're keeping that one. Two. Yeah, okay. Might might end up going down to one, I'm sure, but two two seems reasonable. So do I want to keep the bobble in play to make sure my emery costs one next turn? I think so. Because next turn we can play um, goose and then a one mana emery. Um, I'm assuming their deck is quite low on removal. They did have a um, dismember last game, so I'm guessing that's their only main deck removal. Maybe they're going to have one of their really good beatdown draws here. Dredgescape Sliver. There's your boy. Captain Unearth. All right, land off the top. Bang. Okay. Round six to no fetch land. But Emery should mill us one. So, yep, just sticking with my plan. And then we... Emery, lurker of the lock. Aye. Right then. Wow. Bobble and walking ballista. That's... uh. Not bad. Let's see what they're up to over there. What are you drawing? Okay. Okay. Cloud Shredder Sliver. Nice. Good draw. Good creature. If they don't, um, that's a good draw for us. If they don't have a, what do I want to say? Want to say anything? No. Not really. Boot up the meter ball? Nope. Frenetic every. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six damage and flying. I could play a 2 2 ballista next turn, though, which I'm pretty sure I. Uh, but they've got the frenetic sliver. Oh, man. All right. It's going to be interesting. Okay. It's going to be a little tight, but I think we'll be okay. Drawing the goose is nice. So I can play Urza, and then a Bobble, and then what? Nothing? I think that's what I have to do. I guess I could just spend four and play Ballista X2 and pray that we get to pick off their Cloud Shredder Sliver. Um... The fact that it's also giving them flying is such a pain in the ass right now. But it phases out. No, it slides. Okay. But sliding would be good enough here. Uh, yeah, I think we just play Walking Blista and try to play the control game. It's not the best, but uh, I'll take it. Because I'm going to play Emery... And then play Ballista X zero. Nope. Yeah, we're not doing that. Let's just draw another land next turn. Okay, 
So we'll let the Aether Vial resolve, and we'll try to kill the Cloud Shredder. Oh, they missed it. They missed their frenetic Ifrit there. That's good for us. Frenetic Sliver. So we can use Ballista to block a Mutavolt. No, wait, it's going to fly. Oh, no, none of them fly. Okay, then use a Ballista to block a two-power creature of any kind, or three if they have a Lord. And then, ooh. Right. Got it. Okay. This exiles at the end of the turn? Is that correct? Exile at the beginning of the next end step, or if it would leave the battlefield. Unearth only as a sorcery. That's fine. So we're going to try to kill the, the other one then, because that's already going to get exiled. So we're taking one, two, three, four, five. They've already declared their attackers, so they can't uh, put in a lord and have it attack. Lost the flip. Good. Okay. So taking five, and then the cloud shredder is gone forever. Dismember. Sure. That's a small yikes. It's a small yikes after all. But we've got some geese to block with. Uh, or I guess I can play Uro and pray we pick up a land. Seems pretty okay. Play a goose. Because there's I somehow didn't mill land with Emery. I guess there's not that many lands in our deck. Should make my decisions with a reasonable amount of speed here. Geese are not great blockers right now. Trinket Mage can get me Springleaf Drum. That's not all that good. Neither is uh, Engineering Explosive. Eh, let's just play Uro. Let's hit a land. A green land? Fetch land? Fetch land would be A+. Plus. hey -o, It's all of the above. Birds versus Slivers. Dual deck coming to an LGS near you. I can't wait. I love when I saw, I've seen multiple people get got by Gilded Goose being a green creature with flying. And it's like, dude, this is one of the most famous magic cards of all time. Like, how did you not understand that the one green mana dork is going to have flying? I understand that it's actually not like in flight in its art. But still, I mean, come on. That's just... Uh-oh. Frenetic Sliver? Yeah. Doesn't have haste, so that's good. Coming in for four. We'll take it. So I can play Ren 6. Pick up a land. Oh, that changes things. Play Kinnon, one, two, three, four, five mana. So play Kinnon, play Renin six, pick up a land, play a land, play a row. Got it. Uh, except the colors get all messed up for doing this. Because this has to go, I have to tap something for red, right? So this goes for red, green. I have a red floating. I get the land, play the land, sack, food. I can filter colors by having this goose make a food and this goose sack it, but that doesn't actually work. Okay. So we could just play Urza or play Trinket Mage here or play Uro. I think Uro's probably the best one. Because their creatures aren't flying. So, and they can come back with first strike. But I think yeah, and we'll just have a we'll have a goose available here. Also, if we pick up a land, we're in good shape. Okay, play Uro. So one, two, three, four. So, oops, uh, Ballista or Mistress Bobble or Vista. I'm leaving Vista and a Bobble. Or sorry, Vista and uh, Walking Ballista. Vista Ballista. Wista and the Ballista. Land. Nope. Eh. Backup cannon's not wrong. All right. Pretty safe here. All right, Uro. Now, return to me.
Yep. Lord? Mariner. Sure. And a hive. Okay. So are they going to go through for six here? And if they do... Nope. All right. That's fair. Okay. Sick top deck. Not the best. So we go red, green... Play round six, pick up my land, play my land. Do I just play Urza? Kind of. That doesn't really put me in a great spot. I think this is better. Okay, let's go attack. I want to get the life gain trigger. Good. If I trinket mage, oh sure, dies. Yeah, buddy. All right. Now we can get back some number of their creatures here. Oh, I know what we can do. We're gonna trinket mage and get a mox, and then we'll see where we're at. Uh, island. Yeah, this can go forest. No, it can't. Might have to go mountain. Let's go mountain or island here. Um, yeah, we'll get the mountain. Trinket mage. Just looking for more blockers. If I can get pithing needle. I could play it, but oh, and I could have gotten uh, yeah. Well, we'll just get uh, Mox here. Could go get my Orion. I think I'm at virtual fourteen because I can crack my food. So I think we're gonna be all right. Lord Cloud Shredder. Yeah, it's a good creature. They can unearth the Striking Sliver, which would be all right. What do you got? Yep, Frenetic, sure. And Striking? Activates Mutable, sure. So we're going to take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, because I can block the Cloud Shredder Sliver and then crack my food. Yeah, it's actually not not killing me. So do I just go to one here? Yeah, I have no reason not to. Because I can make another food this turn. Yeah. Oh! Ah, huh, I lost the flip anyway. Wait. Yeah, that doesn't work. But good try, opponent. Um, I believe the text on Unearth, if you slide the creature to try to keep it alive, I, I don't don't think that works. Uh, that might be the game. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. can almost kill them here. Uh, 15. Not quite. Okay. So let's go ahead and go attack. See what we draw. No, nope, definitely not shocking. Play Bobble, so I have one, two, three, four. If I play Urza, oh, five, six, and yeah. So it should be good here. And we have a Galvanic Blast during combat. Um, I guess, is this play this ability only as a sorcery? Yeah, or Nerth only as a sorcery. So my opponent's upkeep. We're going to Galvanic Blast the Dredge Scape Sliver. This should put us out of reach. 
Suppose I could try to shoot the Cloud Shredder Sliver during combat, which would remove it for the duration. Actually, that's probably better. Yeah, that's fine. That's better. It just increases the number of creatures I can block with by two. And we still have food we can crack, so I think we're in good shape. What is this? Night of Autumn? Harmonic Sliver. All slivers have. When this permanent enters the battlefield, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Okay, so that's, yeah, the um, Aura Shard Sliver. Oh, that works with Frenetic Freed, huh? That's scary. Okay, well, let's try to kill the Cloud Shredder now. Uh, yeah, I have mana. Uh, I'll use the Misha's Bobble here. The most important one. Sure. So their creature's not going to have haste now. They can kill my construct, but I will just, yeah, I'll just tap it in response. And then the other thing I'm going to tap to crack this food is... One, two, three. They're not going to have any more creatures, so I don't need an infinite number of blockers. So Urza plus two geese will have to be good enough here. Oh, they can, no, they can only attack with three creatures, so this is good enough anyway. They probably won't. We'll see. Nope. Good, because they know they're going to die if they do. Good, good. Make food. Oh, I could have made two foods there. Yep, just not, not thinking with portals here. Karn. All right, so uh, winning the game quickly matters right now. So I think Orion is going to be the quickest path to victory. This harmonic sliver is going to be a problem. I guess I could just Karn for Ballista here and just eat their board pretty hard. Or there's a Trinket Mage. Never mind. Okay. But does that die? Oh, it does. Okay. Let's so Trinket Mage name Frenetic Afrit on um, Pitting Needle. Guess they could harmonic sliver in response. They could slide stuff in response. Let's see if they're clever enough to do it. Nope. Frenetic sliver. Sure. Good. One, two, three, four. Play card. Get the boat. Oh, I still have a Renin 6 I haven't used. Let's get the boat. Uh, there's no more Mariner, so just ping the Harmonic Sliver. One, two, three, four, five. Play the boat. Boat shoots down. Dredgescape Sliver should be all she wrote. All right, got him. Loses the flip. So they can get back their Dredgescape Sliver on their turn. And then get back one other sliver. An attack with three? Yeah, that's not going to be anywhere near good enough. Oh, okay, okay. What are you killing with that? Sky Sovereign, sure. I'm at ten. You, you can't attack for anything here. I'm just going to kill you on the crackback, but thanks for playing. Okay, but... Actually, does that work with an unearth? Well, maybe it does. I guess it does. Huh. Neat. I was wrong earlier. Yep. All right. So they're going to get to kill more stuff here. But they can't kill Uro. So. Oh, Pithing Needle on Frenetic Sliver doesn't actually work that well. That's interesting to find out. Because Frenetic Sliver gives this ability to all their slivers. Mm. Yes, that is the way slivers work. That's cool. We just drew the one in win anyway. So just go all in here. All I gotta do is get it through for one. 
And this is O V E R Ova. Okay, you got a one. I have the Renin Six, so because they have uh, clocked me earlier, right click, attack all GG. Well, it's not actually, um, but I'm going to hold priority. We're going to Renin Six them. Then we're going to Galvanic Blast them. And then I'm going to make a food. And then I'm going to make another food. Uh, oh, they conceded! Man, they weren't even dead yet. You know, I don't. I don't understand why they would concede there. You know, I mean, in game one, they just they just stuck it out until until they died. Jeez, jeez, opponent, why would you scoop? You weren't even dead. Good games, good games, Seb Striker. Sliver deck has uh, not a lot to say against this deck. That's for sure. Our uh, our toolbox is pretty powerful against what they're up to. Maybe they were stream sniping and finally read your shirt. That's true. How did you win 1-0 in match 2? Um, 8 racks scooped to us after we beat them with a 5 card hand. Our eight rack opponent just uh, that we 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 played Uro into Song in game one in a, with a five card hand and they were just like nope don't want to play any more of this TCG player Benobi TCG player Benobi I feel like I'm supposed to know who that is. All right, we're going to have an absurd amount of mana. Oh, we're going to have turn two Karn here. Pouring <laughs> player through their deck. That's usually what we're supposed to do. Don't steal our bit. Obi-Wan Benobi. Is that a person? Yeah, we're keeping the shit out of this one. Keep. One man's trash, another man's eight rack. Wow. Okay, turn two Karn gonna be money here. We're gonna be playing turn two Karn with liquid metal coating. Am I reading this hand correctly? Holy shit. Um, which is good because this is one of our worst possible matchups. FYI. Green Tron is a terrible matchup for us, but if if our hand is as fire as it seems like it is, um, then we might just be able to steal this one. Probably going to lose the match, but we will steal a game here. They didn't have the, the lockup on their Tron piece. That's good. Do they have the... No, they didn't even have the... Oh my god. They didn't. They don't even have turn three Tron with this hand. Yikes! That's a yikes. All right, you guys ready to see a pretty quick concession? I'm guessing we might see a pretty quick concession. Steam events. Play the cannon. I would love to do this in paper. By the way, this would be. This would be hilarious. Show up with my 80 card pile and just turn two Karn liquid metal coating pass. Y'all ready for God? Do <laughs> <laughs> any magic in paper. Microbes. Does a virus count as a microbe? Is that is that factual? Because I I I know it's like sort of within question whether a um, virus actually counts as being a life form, because they're so simple. They're just like genetic code wrapped around like a a protein or something like that, and they 
lack some of the features that we expect like actual life forms to have, so I'm not. All right. What's your out? Our globalist cabal did not okay this. It okayed what I just did. OP, would you like to never get more mana than you have this turn? <laughs> ah, this was the rock on which we built this church right here. Okay. So we don't have a lot of sideboard for this matchup. And again, as I mentioned before, it's a really, really bad matchup for us. So we need to mull to a pretty aggressive hand. Um, what is the best thing I can bring in here? None of it is particularly appealing. I think I think this is probably the best arrangement we can reach. They were on the play to yeah yeah. I mean we we are gonna get to go to <laughs> your monster. I am not a monster. <laughs> this person is playing Green Tron. F this person. Tier one budget deck for like five years running just see this this is where we get our uppins our uppins has come all right good hand this is up there we even have a pitting needle so much deck shaming. Oh, holy crap. House of Mana rating. You can run, but you can't Thanks for the, ra the raid, House of Mana. Um, good games. Uh, you, you just missed a turn two Karn and Liquid Metal Coating that this deck can put out. Uh, but we, we did completely mess up this poor Tron player. So that was great. Uh, we're going to have turn two Karn again, as long as we draw a second land, which is not always the most likely thing to do in this deck, so. Yeah, 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 it was great. Good games. Very close. Um, this deck has been one of the, the greatest creations that I really feel like I've ever been a hand in, um, in, in my Magic career. Uh, me and Jiggy Wiggy. The great and powerful Arun Singh. Okay, so we're going to needle the map. We're gonna play... Play the Mox, play Emery, play Needle on map. And if they ever blast zone the Needle, they also lose their map. Definitely did some insane things. Yeah, I mean, you're just playing a slightly better deck, but we, we had a chance. Turn to Karn... Well, we, we can't we can't Karn because I didn't hit uh, mana this turn, but we can do it next turn. So um, that'll probably be good enough because they're not going to turn three Tron and we're going to hit their map. So play Mox, play Emery, play Needle, save the food for next turn. We didn't draw a promised land. Yeah, exactly. I've played super loose game three and one EE and I was dead. Yeah, just couldn't quite get there. Okay. The goose won't survive if they pop the blood. Yeah, that's fine. By the, by the time they get to it, I'm not worried. Um, the more important part for me is the fact that if they want to unlock their map by using Blast Zone, they're going to kill their map. That's They don't have green mana right now. If they had gone to play green mana this turn, it would have put them even further off of um, playing their Tron. So, Roasted Goose. <laughs> roasted Goose is delicious. I don't know what you're, what you're worried about. If anyone in the chat from... Um, from House of Mana's channel is interested in the deck list, you can type exclamation point deck 
and get the list. Um, hit Ren and Six, so I can I can play that. So use this to play Ren and Six, then play Kinnon. Play the Bobble in the next turn we Karn. It's as good as it gets. I think that's as good as it gets with this hand. Man, that's really sucky. Yeah. I really wish I could get this card into play this turn, but I just cannot. So this goes red. Green. the best we can do it's uh more than a little unfortunate gotta get a green mana with this misty sure or stomping grounds let's get the stomping grounds my life total is unlikely to be important in this match or in this game at least play the cannon play the bobble and that's as good as we can get not perfect, but it might be enough to make breakfast. They can crank their blast zone, and then assuming that they pick up um, any land, that they will be able to destroy all my two drops. They didn't go for it, so I'm assuming that means they don't have it. They might just have Tron here, and then just like slam Karn on my face. Nope. Good. That's really good. God, it's so good. Because Karn is quite, quite good against Tron. Karn makes it very difficult um, for them to use a lot of their stuff. More afraid of Eugene. Yeah, I mean, either of those. Yeah, Natty Tron to Eugene would have been, yeah. Yes, definitely worth it, worse than Karn. You're right. I wasn't even thinking of the worst case scenario. I mean, like, Walking Blista off natural Tron would have been really good too. Um, so, yeah. Because they just like kill Kinnon and like Emery. They blast them. Sure. So just losing Needle and Goose. That's fine. That's totally fine. Huh. Works for me. Do I have Needle in my sideboard or is it Sorcerer Spyglass? Or neither? I have neither. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Naturally drew the land. Finally. All right. So I just play Pivoting Needle again, I guess. Get Wet Ball. I can get Wet Ball. Can't play Wet Ball this turn. One, two, three, four, five. I can't play it this turn. I think I'm supposed to get Needle and just take a shot in the dark and name Fugin. Because... Oh, play Karn, get Wet Ball... Play the needle out of my graveyard, uh, name Ugin. Right on, man. Oh, what's your podcast? I don't know what your podcast is. I think they have another map. That's Karn will take care of that. Karn doesn't give a shit. So we're gonna play Karn and Needle this turn. We're gonna needle Ugin because uh, uh, their Karn Liberate is not actually all that frightening right now. It's like bad, but it's not that bad. I'm bad at magic. I, I I disagree, my friend, but I think you're a pretty cool person. Mind if I link it? No, 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 please, please link it. Oh, you do a podcast with F. Pausless? Tell him I find his name incredibly difficult to pronounce. I think he should have picked a more accessible name. I know it is his name, or it's like a variation of his name. So does he. That's awesome. Ugin the Spirit Dragon? Is this the correct Ugin? Ugin. Cart. Ugin. This is not Ugin the Uneffable. It's been a while, so. Pretty sure this is the right one. Yeah, cool. Ugin the Spirit Dragon, cool. And then we go Karn Wish, get the, the ball. Get the ball rolling, you know? Now, when you do get the ball rolling, the, the downside of that 
is that your opponent is going to be able to... <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Um, the downside of this is if we draw a Song of Creation, we're not going to be able to go off. But I think we have closed the jaws around our opponent where we're just going to go Damping Sphere into uh, Liquid Metal Coating. So they have to have a pretty specific draw here to beat me. Gets Forest. Uh, that's probably not going to do it. And that looks like all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Please play an artifact out. Love it. The word ineffable is a strange one. Uh, is it? Doesn't it just mean like, uh, like not understandable? I think that's what it means. Yes, it means you cannot be effed. Thanks, Punchworthy. It's a word that describes that something that's too great to be expressed in words. Too great or extreme to be expressed or described in words. I mean, I like I get it. Like I understand what what they're after. So play the coding, play the bubble. I'm just gonna play damping sphere last because it's gonna stop me from playing any other spells. Oh, I can play Uro first. Ido. God, I love this guy. Have you guys even seen this guy? God, he's so great. He's just a good guy. You know? Alright. New Fortnite season to borrow. Didn't Fortnite end? Wasn't there a black hole? I heard there was a black hole. I feel like that's one of the most moments where we'd be like, oh yeah, 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 there was a black hole, but they got better. Everyone got better after the black hole. They absolutely stole the heck out of this match. Listen, you gotta play a deck that's powerful enough to win. Ah, my Western civilization teacher told us about defenstration. Talked about he how he personally looked out of one of the windows, famous for that word, long drop. Oh, 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 I just clicked through. And I hope I don't get got. So what I clicked through there was being able to turn off one of their lands. This is not a big deal. They have literally zero mana. It does turn off my artifacts, but not for long. They plus it. Fair enough. Yep, I fucked up, and uh, we are getting slightly... Oh, no! Uh Oh no! Tiny mistake. Big impact. Oh boy. I was I was reading about defenstration and bad things started happening. Alright. I think we're gonna be fine. We no longer have stolen the heck out of this batch. Well we can go ping, attack for three, um, play a second round six ping. Yeah, this is really bad, though. Chances are they're not going to be able to play too much else. Oh, I didn't even crack my baubles in response. God damn it, I played that sloppy. Okay, so ping. So I can put their card at two. I think I think it's important to do it. I can play the Uro out of my yard, but that means that I have to draw land. Springleaf drum's looking pretty goofy now. Really? The Springleaf drum's looking goofy? Is that is that the card that's looking goofy right now? Is is not not any of these cards. The Springleaf drum is the one that's looking goofy, huh? All right, let's play the Uro out of my hand, I guess. Because I, what can they wish for? Is there anything they can wish for that I'm actually afraid of? I guess they can activate artifacts now, which means this map can complete their Tron, but I still have the Damping Sphere. 
So let's just play Uro and not worry unduly about it and just hope that we rip a source that gets us to our next stage here. The needle looks goofier. <laughs> Say that Mox Amber looks pretty goofy here. Thank you very much. Land. Hey! Never punished. Never, ever punished. So now they don't even get to wish. Oh, I can kill their expedition now. That's probably the best thing I could do here. Is that the best thing I could do here? Probably, right? Oh no, my wet ball! No! Alright, fine. We'll play the spring leaf drum. Huh. Well, that sucks. Alright. The needle is fine. The mock's just a bad spring leaf drum. The ball will cost zero instead of one. Yeah. Only the coating is close, it's true. We've once again gotten ourselves. Well, I mean, not really. Like, like, kind of. Like, the line I went for didn't didn't work, but it never was going to work, and I didn't have an uh, an alternate, really. Because if I played Uro and didn't hit the land, with my backup plan being to play the Ren off the two mana, that wouldn't have worked either. So either way, I was going to get myself. Okay, so they do Karn. What, what could they possibly be wishing for that they think is good enough here? Or it was pretty cool anyway. You're not wrong. Bridge. Okay. This is a very high bridge. The clearance on this is ludicrous. Um, so we can pop my baubles now. That's not going to remain the top card because they are going to crack this map, probably. Um... We're gonna need to kill them before before they get to the next thing. All right. So let's pick up Misty. Just draw the Karn, please. That's I would love that. I would love to draw a Karn. Stamping sewer is gonna cause me trouble. Our deck does actually tend to play a lot of spells in one go. Okay. Okay. So <clears throat> play the car or the Urza out of my or Uro out of my hand. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Costs four. Um, there we go. Oop. And this Uro in play is just a is just a, a Birds of Paradise. Double Birds of Paradise. We have plenty of mana. I mean, you're not wrong. Hey, you think that error was impressive? Wait until you see the next one. Five mana Uro. This card's not busted. Five mana growth spell. Uh, excuse me, gain three life. Relevant text, a uh, thank you. All right, um... Can Emery to draw one more card? Which I'm going to do because it's more important than attacking for one right now. We will attack for two. Okay. God damn. I can't believe how badly we got punished for missing one freaking upkeep liquid metal coating. Like, ugh, brutal. Our deck wanted to win this so badly. Okay. Are they getting Blast Zone? Do they have another? I guess that's the real question. I think they usually only play one of because they play they're they're a nineteen land deck. As soon as we hit another card, we're in business. I agree. That's why I'm happy. There's four in the deck. He's very 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 good against a lot of decks. So they've got six. Okay. No Karn. Certainly no Ugin. Could be Worm Coil, could be Thrag Tusk. Could be O-Stone, but they can't activate it. O-Stone would be colossally bad. 48 cards left in my library. Worm Coil can't attack. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't care about Worm Coil. I, I, I don't care about Worm Coil even if it could attack. That's not the axis they're going to win this game on. Not another card. Oh no. Do 
we have a way to remove this bridge. Yeah, uh, we get a Karn, uh, animate the bridge, and kill it. Ah, oh, I forgot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm never not going to forget. I know that this is a colossally good card against me, and I'm just playing like garbage because I haven't played for a week. Life is suffering. Thanks. Yeah. You're not wrong. Well, this is going to draw them a card when it dies. God, I can't believe how badly I punted this game away. This is just pathetic. Yeah. Uh, game one or two. This is game two. We won game two. Or we won game one. Oh, brutal. Okay. Um, play an arrow out of my graveyard to try to draw Karn, I guess. I do have another Ren and Six. So I could play that to just to ping their Karn. Then they could wish again. Not super worried about that. Yeah. We have Karn. All right. Let's see if we can draw. Play Uro, four mana, Uro Spiral. Bang? Nope. All right. Yeah, we're only through one card. I really, 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 really wish I hadn't screwed up and missed my baubles. They haven't been hitting lands, which is pretty good. And if they have um, their little one mana cantrip cards, they're actually not that good. Like they, they can't like go off with them like they normally would be able to because we have the damping sphere. So we beat this Karn by finding our own Karn, playing um, Sky Sovereign to kill their Karn, if I have to. I'm gonna attack the Karn down right now. Is mirror galleries on board, do the Kinnons add up? Yes. Yeah, this is a replacement effect, they would. In fact, there, there's nothing confusing about the way that works. Uh, the way Kinnon and his word is pretty explicit. Uh, this is frustrating. They animated their bridge. So that makes it easier to kill, but I don't actually have a way to do it. Get your Ryan. What does your Ryan do for me? Orion, I could change Pithing Needle to Karn. I don't really want to do that. I remember when we were winning too, Larry's Punchworthy. I remember when we were winning too. Do I attack into this and see if they goof and block my bridge with Kinnon? Or block Kinnon with their bridge. Because I'm assuming there's no way they'll possibly do that. But I also don't think there's there's a better line for me from here. <sighs> no, we're not. I am. They're just going to block with Worm. No, maybe. Why did they animate the bridge then? Why not animate nothing? Painter, servant, legal, and modern. Can we use that to aether gust all their stuff. Uh, it is actually. All right. Let's see what they do. If they screw up their block here, we can kill the bridge. Oop. Well, I'm out of ideas. 
Ó. It's one of those funny situations where I do wish we had the uh, galvanic blast in over the aether gust. Okay. I was bluffing. That wasn't it kind of worked. It's kind of worked. Bing. So we got their Karn one lower, which is not super relevant, but it's something. Um, if I play Mox Amber, I get another card in my graveyard, which means I can escape an extra Uro next turn. But we are going to end this game, by the way, and I'm going to draw the top two cards in my deck, and one of them is going to be a Karn, just, just, just so we're all prepared for the shame. Yep. I'd rather you didn't. To the top. How wrong was it to gust our own Kinnon? Why do you want to do that? In blocks. Pretty wrong, I think. Why, why would you want to do that? Stop them from gaining life? I don't care about their life total, really. Like, at this point, I, I can't. I don't have, like, I don't know. Oh, boy. They're going to play something big next? It's got to be big Karn next turn. I think. Yeah, so I just really need to top deck my own Karn right now. Well, that'll do that. So we're halfway there. <clears throat> Was to save a body so we could swing more often into Karn. Save a body. Okay, so I've unlocked my artifacts, which is huge. Um, I'm going to Uriah in this turn, and and name Karn Liberated. Um, Can also slide out my damping sphere. Um, so let's play your ion. Play one more. Slide needle, sphere, Brennan and six. Uh, I can slide out the mox, it doesn't really matter. Actually, I kind of want the mocks in the graveyard. Okay, so Sphere's gone. Let's play the new mocks. Yeah. Keep that one. Play Springleaf Drum. Oh, I should have slid the Uro that's in play. Uh, yeah, I could, I could have slid the drums too. Sorry, I'm just being a little time conscious, which definitely making some mistakes on it, but I'm not super worried. Leave the Mox Amber in there if we can. Um, yeah, I've got two baubles in play. Okay, so play New Uro, keep the untapped one. <clears throat> Urza's good. Can't play this turn. Actually, I can. So Emery, play Mox Amber. And we just have to remember that when my Needle comes back, we're going to name... Do I just name Ugin again? Because he's so much more devastating than Karn will be. Uh, oh, hold on. Ugin. 
Ugin's game breaking. Yeah, I think we gotta name Ugin. Okay. If they have Karn, it's like good, but not the end of the world. Because they can like exile my Urza or like my Uro. Uro, I definitely don't care about. As long as they don't have another Karn, um, the great creator. We're going to be okay. We can make so much mana. Yep, this deck is very, very good at it. If we draw a song creation, we're in business. Although, even though we have a damping sphere, I think we'll still be in business at that point. Does Urza's tap ability get doubled too? It does not. So, the reason why um, is because uh, Urza's uh, ability is on Urza. Um, but uh, Urza's not get tapped. Okay, so they have the Karn liberated, so this is the best case scenario for them. They are going to sack. I gets Ulamog. That's hopeful. Are oh, they going to exile the Sphere? If I hit another Karn, I could just play it again. It's really, really funny. Uh, how much mana can we make? So, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. They exile Urza. Okay. Oh, yeah, the, the way Karn works. Wait, but we can kill their Karn. We can attack it down, right? Or we can at least hurt it. Um, we can make an uh, unbelievable amount of mana. So, um, so sorry, Urza it, with uh, Kennen is because Urza's not tapping. Urza's tapping another thing, but Urza's not the thing that gets tapped. It, it's a weird interaction. Okay, we just top deck another. Okay. That'll do. That'll do. One more there, one more there, one more there, one more here. Play Ballista, six, uh, safe target, ping, ping, ping. Uh, the reason I saved two mana is so I can use Emery to play a bobble. Big as the Ballista, Ballista is a four right now. no lands. Uh, let's ping my opponent, I guess. So my opponent's down to six lands now. They, they, they uh, stone rain themselves by sacking their... Um, yeah, another Karn would be amazing. We're down to 40 cards and there are three Karns left. So, Ballista gets the murder Karn. It did do. Map. Okay. You can get more mana. But you can't use it this turn. Another tower. Bold. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Okay, thank God. I was like, there's no way it's another Karn. That would be just silliness. Okay. This is a problem, though. Okay, so we're just going to spin Urza as many times as we can this turn, and we don't top deck a Karn. 
So let's go activate, um, go tap you. Come on, come on game, get on my team. Yes, I am aware we are under five minutes. We're not playing any of the cards off of Urza until we find what we're looking for. Song. Okay. Um, Song gives us a lot of draws. I don't know if it's worth it here, but I'm going to play it. So I'll pay one for Soul Guide Lantern, draw two. Exile map, I don't care. Play land, sack of land, play land. Play ballista for x equals zero. There's no lands in my deck. Well, fuck. All right, play zero. Uh, one, two. Cycle ballista. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, buddy. Okay. Um, oh, there's a mox amber in my graveyard. That's good. Okay, so one. Play Mox Hammer? It's gonna cost three, right? Okay. Getting into trouble. It's fun getting into trouble. Oh yeah, Emery will always cost one, that's true. Um, no matter how high this goes, Emery will cost one. Um, let's play Bobble. One, two, three, four. We do want to prioritize playing artifacts. Can I still play the Karn if I hit it? I think I, yeah, I think I just barely can. Whew! Pay nine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't tell me I'm one short. I don't believe it. Hold on. Prismatic Vista. No, I already played both lands for this turn. Fuck. You gotta be shitting me. God damn it. Seriously? Is this it? Are we done? Can we not do it? Uh, that's so upsetting. I'm just going to discard everything next turn. Unless they get cocky and they fake counter their bridge. But they won't. They won't do that. All right. Well. God bless it. It's nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Yeah. Literally one draw too late. So if I hadn't screwed up with my bobbles earlier, we'd be fine. Um, I have my pithing needle in play. I can't destroy it in any way I can think of. So I think we're just. I think we're just dead. Let's find out. Sorry, guys. Taking a week off and then playing this super, super, super complicated deck has its problems. Oh, they're going to kill the Damping Sphere here. Life is suffering. I mean, in theory, they're only going to have four mana left over afterwards. So... In theory, we could beat them if I was able to actually play the game quickly enough. Um, like in paper, we'd be able to, to win this maybe, but I don't think we'll be allowed to here. Cause like I can play an Uro, obviously. Emotional roller coaster. I mean, it wasn't supposed to be. I just fucked up earlier, and they played. They actually played the Karn, and they they like they just. They played a great game. I just screwed up in a way that you'd never, ever, ever, ever screw up in paper. And that's a shitty excuse that people like to use. But, uh, but I did. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not going to be worried about it. Okay, we're moving on. I'm putting that in the W column personally. But obviously, that was just stupid and awful. So we missed one upkeep uh, liquid metal coating. And uh, we lose. And that's that's the whole thing. Wasn't intentional. And then I made multiple punts afterwards. That's it. Let's move on. We're two and two.
And uh, the deck's feeling good, though. Deck's feeling good. It is everything I remember it being and more. So it's going okay. I mean, it's just me being out of practice. Like, I don't usually screw up that kind of nonsense. Yeah, I hate watching Toronto in a matchup, too. But they didn't really win. We just punted. We had that no problem, but we goofed. I had that no problem, but I goofed. You guys, you guys were great. You guys consistently told me what to do right. All right, let's rock into this last match here. Okay. Um, is this hand unkeepable without a green source? Yeah, it is. Uh, this is better, but it's not great. It's not going anywhere. Do people still play dredge? Someone tell me people still play dredge. Keep this, ship the vista. Yeah, I like that. Yep, greatest poet of our generation. Shake, shake, shake it off. Oh, 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 shake it off. Weird interaction with Heartless Act, eh? What was that? I wonder. How did Reed Duke get got by Heartless Act? I'm just curious. Was it Heartless Act thing in the ice? Oh, it's going to be Goblins. This is not a great matchup for us, but at least it should be kind of quick. Um, let's play Soul Guide Lantern first before there's anything in play. Or sorry, anything in the graveyard because I'm going to go um, Island Springleaf Drum. Yeah, I mean, I, I just fat finger through phases occasionally, and this was just one of those times. Opponent with no second land. I like that. Draw a card with this. <laughs> We've drawn a third of the lands in our deck already. So that's, uh, that's a whole thing. <laughs> um, and we'll play the Waterlog Groove. It's possible our opponent is playing Elementals. And I only say that because their only land in play is from Lorwyn. And I assume that people are cool and they um, match their lands to their archetype. But um, the, some of the playable goblin cards are also from... Lord okay, Blessed Aemire. So, no, this is going to be goblins for sure. Yeah. So... We do have some main deck Galvanic Blasts and Pithing Needle and such. So we've got game here. We just need to draw some action. Jeez. I mean, if I hit an Emery, I'm going to have a lot of bobbles that are going to be... Oh, well. Um, that was almost perfect. Uh, if it had happened to turn earlier, but you know what? Beggar, not chooser over... No. So let's go Kenan. Kinnan plays Imri. Imri gets uh, Urayan. We should be all right from there. Mm, hold on, we can play the... No, Imri already costs one. Cool. Trigger. Whee! Bro! Ho! Uh. Are my colors fucked up? No, my colors. Uh, I can't do it. Could I have ever done it? Yeah. If I had been playing around the mill into Uro plan, I could have done it. Shit. Oh, well. Isn't it pronounced Urian? Um, I, I've heard it pronounced Urian. Uh, but the reason I pronounce Orion Orion is because if you look at the word, the word Orion is there, Orion, with a Y in front of it. So I pronounce it Orion. 
Don't like the new goblins. They always seem to have it on turn four. I mean, I'm assuming that I'm about to die, yes. Yeah, I'm assuming I'm about to die and nothing that I did matters, but, um, we, I mean, we're playing magic, so sometimes the combo deck's gonna combo you. Sling gang on top. All right, let's see what they got. If they have matron or munitions expert. Okay, so that's gonna kill, Ooh. is this the matron? Oh, there we go. Okay, just dead. But yeah, I've heard Yorian, I've heard Yurian. I, I, I personally don't support any of those pronunciations. I think Yorian um, is, it just seems the best to me by far. Um, but, you know, it's a uh, pronunciation in a fantasy game. Language is all made up anyway, so, you know. Uh, I think I'm going to keep the Shadow Spirit. I think Aether Spellbomb again. Not not uh, showing itself to be great here. Soul Guide Lantern, not important. And let's see. Karn's not super great here. Uh, Karn gets Wishboard stuff, though. Um, and then Mox Amber. Yep. Yeah. I, I mean, I I did make a tiny mistake, and in theory, it could have drawn me a Galvanic Blast that I think I wouldn't be able to play. So, uh, I don't normally main deck the extra Ballista because having it there for Karn to grab, I think, is way more important when we have three Trinket Mages. So we're essentially playing four main deck Ballistas. Just three of them cost extra. Um, yeah, keep that. Just need to draw a second land. Eh, I need more mana, but second land first. More mana. We'll get, we'll get the more mana later. This is probably a bad keep, but we're here now. We're here now. No throwing good money after bad. Misty on top. Never didn't have it. Let me tell you. Professional Magic the Gathering player over here. Professional Magic the Gathering player. I'll tell you. This is a tricky, difficult game to play at the worst of times. All right. Um, so Steam Vents and Forest is what we normally want to go for. Kinda just want to play engineered explosives on one, so I think I will. Then they could just play the snoop. If they do that, uh, then we can gust it if they get their bogart, bogart harbinger. So if they play the harbinger and they go fetch, we can aether gust in response. They put the snoop somewhere and then it shuffles. Okay, I should have boarded in my my uh, Veil of Summers, I guess. Maybe not. Veil of Summer, I think, is really only supposed to come in for the gen matchups, and I don't even know if we need that. Um, the teamer value piles just tend to beat up on gen anyway, so don't know if I need that, but we'll see. Cannon is a gas card. Sure is. I am, I am a fan of Kinnon. Great pool. I hate the decks it's in, but I love the card. You probably like this deck. The um, the best performing deck I've seen with it in so far was like a devoted druid deck. It had like umpteen combos with Kinnon, and uh, I was like freed from the real. Okay, so I think we're just stuck here. Unfortunately, um, I can't really do anything right now and i think i'm supposed to just pop my ee because they could combo this turn cycle but i have the aether gust to beat it so i don't know i don't know Yeah, 
probably should just destroy their vinyl. Freed from the real. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, it was like Devoted Druid, Vizier, Kinnon, and like a bunch of mana creatures. And Freed from the real goes infinite with Kinnon and any mana creature. Relic. That's just rude. One of the things I do like about this deck is that, like, while our graveyard is something that we like to use, um, we frequently will win games without it. Especially with, I don't know, these kind of hands, but we've got a backup Uro for when this relic gets popped, so we'll be okay, I think. Maybe not. Ah! Shadow Spear. Yikes. Okay. They are looking for some kind of action. They do have a sling gang in their hand, so they're probably just looking for the land. This matron? Snoop. Okay. Snoop, Moggy Mog in the house. Sack of Goblin, destroy target artifact. Yikes. That's a pretty good card to have right now, huh? Okay, so I can play Mox Amber, play Uro. Oh, I've got Kinnon. So play Kinnon, play the Mox, play. Uro. I suppose could Aether Gust here instead. After they draw. If the top card of their library is Kiki Jiki, we get wrecked. No, because we just respond to the Snoop. So I think we'll be okay here. Let's see. So they go draw. Go Gust. Get out of here. Get out of here, you. Your ugly pig nose up there against the window. What a jerk. What a creeper. Guy's a creeper like a vine trellis. What's your draw step, friend? What are you doing? Munitions expert? Oh, no. 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 All right. I'm going to put it on top. Put it on top. Okay, so their cannon is not getting them any action this turn anyway. Goose. It's an okay draw. So cannon. Um, play Uro, I guess. Because this could draw me more mana. Well, we're doing we're, we're we're treading water here. Okay, that's a good card. That's a good one. Okay. He has the turn. We got Snoop, Trash Master, Sling Gang, one unknown. Snoop, Trash Master, Sling Gang, and one unknown. I can't believe I'm actually remembering what cards are in their hand. Okay, so they, they got the combo next turn. Got it. Mountain? No, they never drew that. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that's all good, friend. Harbinger is a 2-1. So if I have a Walking Blist in play... They can't combo. Because in response to the Harbinger, we just ping it. Then they can put whatever they want on top. They have Sling Gang in their hand. So they can kill me during the next upkeep? No, that doesn't work. If they put Kiki Jiki on top, that doesn't work. All right. Um... Yeah, I think it's just Karn Blista play a 1 1 Blista. I think that's the only player here. Okay. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not bad. Get the Walking Ballista and play Ballista. Okay. You're up, nerd. Show me what you got. I want to see what you got. 
please do not understand I can disrupt your combo. Just go for it. It's totally safe. Now, if they're smart, they'll just play their Sling Gang Lieutenant. Because we will get wrecked by that. Oh, no. Uh, I think we're dead no matter what now. Oh. Okay. Sure. Uh. Do I want to ping something before that resolves? Kind of. Hmm, that sucks. Oh, okay. Kill that one, I guess. Yeah, I think we might be screwed here. Let's see. I'm gonna attack for five. Yikes. I can't do anything about their snoop. Yeah. Okay, so we're just dying next turn. I'm gonna top deck Galvanic Blast or something. Ah, stupid good decks, why do they gotta be so good? Now we're gonna draw like Song of Creation. No, you, what? Why would you even do that? You jerkwad. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna draw the Song of Creation. Nope, okay, well. At least we didn't draw the Song of Creation, I guess. Uh, let's play Uro and draw Galvanic Blast. What do you guys say, huh? We got four Galvanic Blasts and 61 cards. That's like totally a reasonable chance, right? Prismatic Vista, sure, why not? Okay, I think we're just dead. I think we got beat out of this one. But. All in all, a pretty good showing for the deck, considering considering what it is. So do they try to play around anything? Plays the second Snoop. Yep. There's a second Harbinger on top. Good lord. Oh, they play it uncounterably. Yeah, just dead. Well, 2-3. Um, should have been a 3-2. I punted away that match against uh, Greentron, and we couldn't play the third game because of how long it took. Um, this deck is still as, as time demanding as it's ever been. Um, so let's go take a look at it, see if there's anything I'd like to change. Um, I think I probably should have the fourth Galvanic Blast in the main deck. I think whoever suggested that we cut the Ren and Sixes and play more lands is probably correct, but I never ever want to do it. Um, Ren 6 synergizes with the Mox Ambers. We probably don't need it. I just, I don't know. I just can't find myself parting with the Ren and 6s in this deck. I love this card too much. And again, I, I almost definitely should part with it. It gives us the room for the Galvanic Blast. Um, and then we should play a couple more. Uh, the stream's been struggling all night, uh, Ustaloceros. Um, I, I don't know why I'm going to have to restart before I do the next league. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the next league. I think I'm going to just be happy with the one and then uh, and then come back tomorrow. Uh, we just 2-3 Jiggy. Uh, I goofed against Greentron. We had the match locked, and then we lost game two, but it took so long to lose that we ended up timing out, basically. So um, it's fine. Um, it was a it was a W on paper. I, mean, I think we should probably cut the Ren sixes, get the fourth Galvanic Blast in here, get a couple more lands. I think we should be good to go. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely worse. Uh, so I, I think I'm just gonna cut the stream after this. Uh, I was gonna come back and play Niv Mizzet. If people tell me they're really excited to see me play this, I guess we could go through the league. Ah, I'll come back. Uh, I just need to reboot. So. Um, Closing thoughts on the deck. Yeah, uh, I think we just need to get the fourth Galvanic Blast in the main deck. Birds of Paradise was sick when we drew it. Uh, I think we're cutting Ren and Six from this deck. Well, we have to try. Like, I've never, I just never tried. I've never tried, Jiggy. I don't want to do it. I hate 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 cutting Ren and Six. But, like, even the best Ren and Six decks are playing, like, one or two right now, which means we shouldn't be playing four. It's just, like, it's just not a good meta choice right now. It's not particularly good with Urian. 
if it's not it doesn't synergize with that much that the deck does other than mox and i love the card so much but like you gotta try sometimes um there's also a chance that like the trinket mage package is not that good right now but i really like it still this was like the biggest difference between jiggy's version of this deck and my version his most recent version he cut all the trinket mages um and some of the 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 fun ofs in the main deck. Um, I just don't like playing four engineer explosives in my main deck. It's a very, very good card in the meta and you want to hit it when, when you can, but I like being able to tutor for it when I want it. It's not a card I'm usually excited to see. Anyway, uh, the stream is going to go down for a minute. Uh, this video will be up on YouTube. So hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. If you're watching this there, thank you Jiggy for the follow mentor is the truth. Well, that's something we'll definitely be talking about. Um, I will be back in a few minutes to play some Niv Mizzet, so uh, I won't be able to play any music for you guys because the stream's going down, but I will be back in just a couple.